some pretty exciting news I've been talking about a major life update and obviously as you can tell by the title you already know what that major life update is if you've been following me on Instagram you already seen this announcement on my birthday which was March 30th so yes the title is correct it is true your girl is expecting I am pregnant with my first child and I'm just so excited so today I'm gonna to be sharing how I found out telling my parents telling the father going through all the different things and the emotions that I experienced and to get to where I am today. I'm also going to be showing you guys my little bump, my little belly shot. Um, I'm also going to be telling you guys how many weeks I am, just giving you guys the scoop and everything. That's also why your girl has not been posting as much just because this has definitely caught me by surprise. Like I asked God for unexpected blessings this year and girl, this was not one of the things I was expecting at all. So yeah, that is definitely enough blabbering. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. And without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Okay, you guys, so I have a list. I wrote down the notes on like the topics I wanted to touch on. And also, I'm gonna try my best to not make this video too long, but like I said, I do have timestamps. So there's about seven different categories that I put in here. So we're gonna start with the first one. So this is like the week before finding out. Now I feel like this was really important for me to put in there because the week before finding out, I felt like I was going through a midlife crisis, y'all. Like I literally was thinking about life. I just turned 25 for those of you who don't know. And for some reason, like the thought of turning 25 just sit me over the edge. Like I started thinking about my life and what I wanna do with my life. And I felt like I wasn't where I'm supposed to be. Like I was crying, like honestly, for the first time in my life, I thought like I was de depressed. Like I'd never been depressed before. And I felt like the week before finding out I was pregnant, like I literally felt like I was depressed. Like I was crying, I was talking to God. I'm like, why are the 20s so hard? Like I'm confused, I don't really know what my purpose is. Like your girl was going through it, okay? And I decided to add this in because I don't know if it had anything to do with like pregnancy related because it was only a week after, you know, engaging in the act itself. I'm not really gonna go into details on how I met the father that whole thing because later in this video we will get to that as you can tell by my face it's not a pretty it's not exciting okay spoiler alert it's not exciting so i don't really want to get into the act and the day it happened like i just we just gonna pass forward okay obviously i did the act to get to being where i am now so yeah that week after it was just like the worst and honestly i wanted to block <laughs> the dad because i was just not feeling that either like i wanted to block the dad and something kept telling me like don't block him don't block him and it was so weird because it's like don't block him because what if you what if he ends up being your child's father and i'm just thinking like girl bye like i do not have no kid like i am not pregnant like but something kept telling me like don't cut him off like don't block him because i felt like something was gonna happen and i'm glad i didn't block him and cut him off because yeah did anybody else felt the same way like the week before finding out like were you emotional like do you have a lot of emotions were you thinking about life like i don't know but i just want to add that in just in case like maybe you are experiencing the same thing but definitely the week before finding out i was just thinking about life like i felt like i was going through a midlife crisis and i just turned 25 so that was the week before finding out so now we're gonna go to number two which was the week when i actually found out the days leading up to me finding out so remember i'm gonna talk about the main symptom that i remember having where I was like, this is kind of strange. I would be sleeping a lot. That was like the main symptom that I can even like remember as to like detect the early signs of me being pregnant. I was just so tired. Like I would go to sleep early and I would wake up and I'm like, dang, like I still feel tired. Like I didn't even sleep. Like it felt like I didn't even sleep. And mind y'all, I would get like eight, nine, ten hours of sleep and I would wake up in the morning feeling so drained and tired. And I remember I text my mom. It was probably like, a Monday or Tuesday I don't really know I text my mom and I was like how do I go to sleep how do I go to bed and wake up and I'm still tired and my mom she always does this especially if she knows like I'm involved with somebody because I don't really yeah I was like abstinent for a while so when she knows that's not weird but my mom knows when I'm involved with somebody because I just be telling her and she knows when I'm not so anytime I'm involved with somebody she always be like well maybe you're pregnant maybe you're pregnant like every time so she was like 
I don't know, like, you know, being tired is a symptom, so, like, maybe you're pregnant. And I was like, oh, no, I did this emoji. I sent this emoji. I was like, no, ma'am, like, ain't no way. So then something told me, because I, for some reason, I'm like that girl that always kept pregnancy tests. Like, even when I wasn't doing nothing, I just always had a pregnancy test laying around. So, like, let me know if you have a friend like that or a sister or a coworker, like, you know you can count on them for a test. I was like, you know what? Just for like shits and giggles, I'm just gonna take a test and see what it say. <sighs> y'all, I was not prepared. Okay, so let me go ahead and give y'all the timeline. I should have probably had the pictures already ready. Like, and I actually still have my test. It's in my closet. <laughs> um, but I didn't want to bring them out just because I don't know. I just didn't want to do that. But I had the first test. So I'm gonna put it on the screen the test that you guys are gonna see so I took that test March 1st okay and as you guys can see I don't know if y'all could tell but when I took the test I seen like the faintest line and I've taken a pregnancy test before just like again for shits and giggles even when I knew there was no way in hell that I was pregnant like I don't know why I was always been weird like that like I would take one just like oh let me just take one to see what it says like knowing dang well I wasn't even doing anything like let me know if any of y'all did that before but yeah, so I know what a negative test looks like. So when I seen that faint line, I was like, wait a minute. Is this a faint line? Like, I started Googling. Like, I started looking stuff up. I'm like, that looked like a faint line. But at the same time, blue dye tests, they could be a little tricky. Like, they'll have you thinking it's a line and really it's just an EVAP line or it's just nothing. So then I had one of those rapid, those first response rapid response tests where, like, you're supposed to take the test the day of your missed period. Now, mind y'all, I think when I took this, it was like four days before my period was supposed to come. So my period was supposed to come on like a Saturday or Sunday. And I think I took this test, when was March 1st? Let's just figure that out. So we don't have to do this guessing. Okay, March 1st was on a Wednesday. So I was supposed to get my period that Saturday. No, I was supposed to get my period on that Sunday, on the 5th. So I took this test on March 1st. So then I took the rapid response test because I was like, wait a minute. I wasn't going to take the rapid response test until the day of my missed period, like the instructions say, because you're supposed to be further along before you take that one, supposedly. So, girl, I was like so in shock with the blue dye test and I didn't have no other test besides this one. So I was like, oh, heck no. Like, let me take this other test and see what it say. So I took the test and a minute went by because say you're supposed to get the results in a minute. So when I'm looking, I'm like, I feel like there's a line that's about to pop up, but I still don't see it. Like it wasn't like an actual line, but I felt like I could see something. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to come back to it. So I kind of put it to the side. I dump my pee out and everything, girl. Why I come back to the test and there's a red line. I have never, like I said, I've taken tests before for shits and giggles, you know, and I've seen a negative test. I've never, ever seen a line on one of my tests before. So... I'm looking and I'm like, girl, there is a line. Like, I'm kind of in denial. I'm like, there's no way. Like, like maybe this test is old. Like, you know, maybe I went past the time frame. Like, there's just no way that this is this is positive. Like, there's no way. So I have the Glow app. Now, if you're familiar with the Glow app, it's like an app to, tr to track like your periods. And if you're trying to conceive, you can check, you can track like your ovulation and stuff. So on the Glow app, they have this um, community section where you can like ask questions, do polls and stuff. You can ask questions anonymously. So girl, I was so in disbelief that I took both of these pictures that y'all are going to see. I took both of these pictures and I posted the post anonymously. I think I still have the post. Let me go to my, let me go to my Glow app because I got to give y'all the tea. Okay. Okay. I still have the post you guys. So this is what I posted. I said, what do you think? I will test again tomorrow. So I gave them the story. I told them that I took the test today. I'm about four days away. Pretty much the same story that I gave y'all. And I said, I said, bam, I see a faint line. I don't know what to think. Maybe I'm in denial because girl, I was. Why not even 10 minutes after posting that post? And I did a poll, okay? So I did a poll. Everybody was right. Everybody was voting pregnant, okay? Everybody was voting pregnant on the poll. And why not even 10 minutes later, I start getting notifications talking about some congratulations, congratulations, it's positive, it's positive. Y'all, when I tell you I was shook, I'm like, what they talking about congratulations? Like, I was still in denial. I'm like, no, like, there's no way, like, there's no way, like, what are you saying? Like, congratulations, like, let me show y'all what they was posting. Like, I was seeing stuff like this. Hold on. I was seeing stuff like that. Congratulations, congratulations. And I'm like... 
girl bye like ain't no congratulations i'm still in denial y'all so at this point it's march 1st so for some reason i feel like y'all know what moms i feel like moms just be knowing so so my mom had randomly texted me she was like i want to treat you to dinner tonight because she knows that that was the other weird thing i really wanted steak and potatoes and anybody that knows me i do not i'm not a huge steak person like i don't really like steak like that like it's not bad like i could eat it but i don't really like steak like when i go to a steakhouse everybody's getting steak and i'm that one person that's like getting salmon or like fried fish or something like i never really get steak so like that week before i was like i really want steak and potatoes i really want steak and potatoes so my mom had texted me the same day i took these tests she texted me she's like i want to treat you she's like hey huns that's how we talk we always call each other hun she's like hey huns i want to treat you to dinner tonight you've been talking about you we want steak and potatoes so let's go to outback i'm like now listen I already know when me and my mom go out, especially if we're going to go to the bar, we're going to have us a drink. Like, when it comes to a drink, I'm going to have it. Like, that's always been me. If I go out, especially if I'm going to the bar, I'm going to have a drink. I don't care if it's Tuesday, Wednesday. Like, I love my wine. I love my drink. Like, one thing about me, when it comes to a drink, I'm going to have it. And me and my mom, we like to go to the bar. We like to drink. Okay? We like to drink. So, I'm just sitting here like, oh, my God. Like, I took this test. People telling me congratulations. I see a faint line. I know that my mom, now my mom wants to take me to dinner. And I know when we get to the bar, she don't want to drink. And I'm going to be like, can I even drink? Like, am I supposed to drink? So, y'all, fast forward. I'm, a whole bunch of thoughts are just running through my head. We get, to, we get to Outback. My mom is ordering a drink. And I'm like, I don't know if I really want to drink. And mind you, she's looking at me like, you don't know if you want to drink. Like, because like I said, when it comes to a drink, one thing about Janelle is she's going to have one. Okay, I'm going to have me a drink. So for me to be at the bar with my mom, because she's like the only lady I trust to be like drinking with. For me to be with her at the bar and to be like, I don't know if I want to have a drink. Girl, red flags. Like, ding, ding, ding. I already knew my mom was looking. She was giving me like the side eye. She's like, you don't want to have a drink? Okay, girl. Like... Hmm. so she started ordering her drink at this point i'm just like dang because my whole thing is if i was i was like if i am pregnant like i want to tell her in a cute way like i don't want to be at outback's bar like oh yeah by the way mom i'm having a baby like no i wanted it to be cute like i wanted to get a little t-shirt or something cute and tell her like you know a cute way i didn't want to tell her that way so i'm like but dang like she gonna be looking at me crazy like why you not drinking so i was like i remember sitting there i'm like should I tell you? She like, girl, tell me what? Y'all know how mamas is, okay? Especially black mamas. They don't be playing. She like, girl, tell me what? You better tell me. Because I tell her everything. So she like, girl, you better tell me. Tell me what? Yep, go ahead and spill the beans. What you got to tell me? She like, don't tell me I'm about to be a grandma. Like, I tell, if you tell me I'm about to be a grandma, I'm being this, in this outback crying. So she already kind of know because moms be knowing. So I was like, I'm going to show you the picture. So I show my mom the same pictures, the little faint line she the first one she was like yeah i do kind of see a little something something like the blue one but when we got to the red dye test she was like oh no that's definitely a line like that's definitely a line now mind you i ordered the drink because i didn't want her to be suspicious but then i i drunk like i took two sips of the drink and i started feeling guilty so i was like okay i'm not gonna finish this drink and i know if i don't finish a drink like Girl, I'm the girl that's going to finish everybody drink. You don't want your shot, I'm going to take your shot. You don't want your Long Island, I'm going to drink your Long Island. Like, that's me. So for me to not finish my drink, girl. So I was like, okay, I already said I didn't really want the drink. And then for me to not finish the drink. So I couldn't hold it in no longer. I told my mom, she was like, what? Like, she like, okay, um, you, you know, I started telling her like, well, I don't get, you know, my period till four till four more days like i'm gonna take a test tomorrow like blah 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 so she started talking about that she started talking about my child's father and all of that like if it is true blah 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 we having a whole thing my mom is just sitting there like oh my god like i'm gonna possibly be a grandma like boom like she's just going on and on so that was like the week oh yeah so fast forward to the day so something kept telling me the holy spirit kept telling me like take a digital test like literally that next day i think i took a digital test did i or was it that friday like, i took a digital test on thursday i don't know either thursday or friday i took a digital test now something kept telling me take the test at 6 a.m don't take the little line test take the digital mind you at this point i'm like three days two days before my period and i just kept hearing that strongly like 
take the test at 6 a.m. I, I don't know why I take tests at 6 a.m. I just, God kept telling me, take the test at 6 a.m. and get straight to the digital. So, girl, I went there. I bought the little cheapy digital test. I took the test. I waited till 6 a.m., took the test, and I took the digital. Y'all, I wanted to, I always like envision, like, like the moment I find out I'm pregnant, like I always wanted it, I always wanted to record it and I wanted it to be cute, but I ain't finna hold y'all up. Girl, I was looking crusty. Like that week that I found out, I was looking a mess because I was tired. My body was going through changes. I didn't know what the hell was going on with me. So I always thought like, oh, you know, whenever I find out I'm pregnant, like I want to record it. Like whenever I take a test, girl, no, I was looking a mess. My hair was in this raggedy bun. I had this oversized shirt on breath was just chaotic i had crust on the side of my lips girl i was looking a mess like i wanted to record that moment so bad but girl i was looking a mess okay like i could not ever show that footage like i didn't even want the footage for myself like no i looked a mess so i'm sitting there i dipped the digital test in there and y'all i felt like waiting for them three minutes took forever i swear so y'all the three minutes is up my hands are shaking my room is dark i have this little light on because it's 6 a.m and I look and I see the words pregnant. Y'all, when I tell you I was in shock, like I was in so much shock. When I seen those words pregnant, I was like, you lying, like you're lying. Like I was so shocked, you guys. Like I literally put my hand on my mouth and I just started staring at the wall. Next thing you know, I started crying and these were happy tears. I wasn't like sad, like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? It was more so like I was shocked and then I was like, oh my God, like I have a baby inside of me. Like I was just shocked. I was really shocked. I was crying. My hands started shaking. Like my hands were shaking so bad. I instantly text my mom. I'm texting her. I'm texting her. So eventually she sees the test and she's staring at it. She's like, you're pregnant. When I tell y'all, I kept looking at the directions. I'm like, so this really means I'm pregnant. Like, I'm like, no, this got to be wrong. Like, I'm looking at the word pregnant, and then I'm looking at the directions. I'm like, this says, if it says pregnant, like, you're pregnant. And I'm seeing if the word pregnant match. Like, I'm just in disbelief, y'all. So my mom was like, no, you're definitely pregnant. She stops and stares at the test. She looks at me. We're both crying. We're hugging each other, crying, 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 crying. She's like, we got to get you to the hospital so they can confirm it, blah, blah, blah. Like, we are crying the blues, like crying, 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 crying. Like, she's like, I'm going to be a grandma. She's doing the ugly cry. I'm doing the ugly cry. Like, girl, she was like, how do you feel? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, girl, I don't know how I feel. Like, I'm just in utter shock. So now I want to fast forward to telling my family. So I think I told them, well, my mom already knew. So that same day, we actually told my dad because that same day I was going to tell what, what was I going to tell the father, my child's father? Okay, so that's what it was. We went to the emergency room, y'all. At this time, I didn't have um, insurance. I was waiting to get new insurance, and I, did, I didn't have my insurance. So we went to this little rinky-dink little hospital that was close to us, like emergency room. Y'all, tell me why I had to pay $250. Well, actually, I didn't pay for it. My mom paid for it because she really wanted to have the hospital confirm it. So when I told my child's father, you know, he can have, like, I'm definitely pregnant, you know, um, which was our mistake because I still, I think that was on a Friday. And like I said, it wasn't until Sunday when I was going to miss my period. So it was still really early on. So I feel like we should have waited a little bit, like at least till that Monday or at least till I missed it to go in. But we were just so excited and just so like, oh my gosh, like we have to hurry up. Like I just wanted to tell the father fast. I wanted to tell everybody fast. Like I just wanted to just tell everybody. So yeah, so when I went, my mom paid $250 because she was like, honestly, I was going to wait. When they said I had to pay $250, I'm like, oh, girl, no. I'm just going to wait until I miss it, and then I'm going to come back so I could really get the good results. But my mom was like, no, I want you to have the results, so that way when you tell them, blah, blah, blah. So, girl, get there. The lady, she was like, she was like, well, you know, we use the same type of test that you guys use at home. And I was just like, girl, we just need the hospital confirmation. You know, like... I didn't really care about like looking back at it like we literally wasted $250 for a cheesy ass test that the same test we take at home just for them to tell me like the results was they seemed like they said it was they still said it was positive but they did they did the test like two times and they they had brought in like multiple nurses in 
and I remember I kept hearing I heard somebody say like do you see anything and I was in that waiting room for so long like waiting on the results and I was like dang like what if this comes back negative but they put positive because they felt like they could see a faint line but they just didn't really know so I was like that was a waste of $250 honestly and we ended up finding this clinic that those ladies god bless those ladies they did free they do free pregnancy tests there and they give you a free ultrasound to further confirm your pregnancy and yeah so i really love those ladies they gave me so many resources so many good information they even gave me gifts i'm gonna show y'all that as well i'm kind of getting ahead of myself so boom did that got the little paper it just says the test appears to be positive but that was kind of a waste of time so then that same morning i took another pregnancy test like another digital just so it can say pregnant because i'm a little cheap digital test like the pregnancy the little pregnant thing be going going away too fast and i wanted to have the digital pregnancy the digital pregnancy test that says pregnant on it and my hospital papers so when i go tell the father you know he can have all the all the results so i had to take another digital because the pregnant thing like went away like literally the next day the word pregnant was gone i was like what the hell this is what i get for getting a cheap test okay so boom um before i told the father i actually told my dad so i remember <laughs> i was holding the test and my mom was like oh we have something to tell you and instantly my dad was like i already know i already know what it is i already know what it is so we took him down the steps we sat him down and i showed it to him my dad <laughs> he was like what about the father like he literally just asked about the father He's like what about the father what did he say what did he say like he didn't he wasn't like oh my gosh congrats or he just wanted to know instantly about my child's father what about the father what did he say how does he feel about it blah blah blah, blah, blah. and i was just like really so then he was like well you know you're, you're about to be 25 so you know hey it was gonna happen eventually like you know so he was just like it was gonna happen eventually now i just want to know like what the dad thinks and i'm just like oh my god so told my brothers my two younger brothers and they were in shock the one that was a teenager he was kind of disgusted because he was he knows how babies are made so he was looking at me like you were doing that and i'm like yeah i was doing that i'm grown okay i was doing that so he was kind of disgusted at first he was just like you're pregnant that means you were doing this and that and then i'm like yeah we're not even gonna go there and then my little brother he was just in shock he was like there's a baby in your stomach oh my gosh and he was all excited my teenager brother he was just disturbed because he just couldn't believe that his sister was yeah he was disturbed i don't know what he thought maybe he thought i was a virgin but child he was disturbed okay he was disturbed and then my brother my other brother who is 23 he's in the navy he was in boot camp so we weren't gonna tell him until his um navy graduation but when we finally told him he cried he was so excited for me so yeah all of my family was excited my dad was just doing like the dad thing like asking me a bunch of questions and yeah so fast forward to should be section number four which is telling my child's father now i am not gonna go as y'all can see like i said this is not unfortunately not a happy go lucky story i wish that i could be on this video saying like oh my gosh you know i was with my person and we made a baby and it was just so exciting and they were so happy and i was so happy and it was kumbaya absolutely not y'all the day that i told and i don't really want to go into details about the exact conversation and exactly how it happened because honestly i don't really want to dwell on that day that was probably one of the worst days in my life i'm not gonna lie like that day was probably one of the worst one of the worst days of my life this is my first pregnancy ever i've never been pregnant before this i've never never been pregnant before this will be my first child and never in a million years did i ever think that this is how i would experience my first pregnancy never in a million years did i ever think that this would be me like i never thought that i would be doing this solo um so yeah i told him that conversation was the absolute worst when i tell y'all the stuff this man said to me i was just yeah and i know that there will be women in my shoes like oh like why would you still continue to go forward with the baby like why would you i just want to say this and i really don't want to be on this section for too long because like i said i don't like dwelling on negativity this is supposed to be a happy moment for me and i want to be happy i don't want to be sad and like depressed and like girl no girl bye uh-uh so for me personally i'm pro-choice when it comes to other women like in their bodies like do whatever you want to do but i've always been pro-life when it came to me personally like for my own body 
But you know that saying where people say you never know what you're going to do until you're actually in that situation. Because we always say, oh, I should have, would have, could have did this. But you never really know what you're going to do until you're in that position. So I always was like, oh, you know, I don't think I could ever, like, get rid of a child, like, get rid of my child. But now that I'm actually in this situation, it was just even more apparent. Like, despite the situation, even though the situation is very unfortunate, I just still couldn't bring myself to do it because I wouldn't be able to handle that burden. Like, for me... I believe that every life has a purpose despite the circumstance. So it's just like God bless me with this life. And even though the situation is not the most ideal, I believe that my baby has a purpose. And I believe that does start in the womb. So, you know, I'm a firm believer in God. So my opinion on that, I know everybody has a different opinion. Some people are, it's just a clump of sales. It's just this, it's just that. But for me, the moment I found out, I just, there was no, it's just a clump of sales for me. I'm like, no, this is a person that God placed on this earth to have a purpose like they they're gonna be here for a reason so um yeah he was very just very mean very nasty he expressed how petty he would be um you know he expressed that he don't want no parts pretty much and it was the worst conversation i like that was the worst day of my life like honestly that's when i really was just thinking about life because i'm like dang like this is not the situation i ever thought i would be in and so um that was the last day like after that happened i remember i left his house and i went to an altar parking lot that's close to his house and i called my mom and i told her like what he said because my parents really especially my dad really wanted to know what he was going to say and how he was going to react and i honestly didn't even want to tell my dad like i was really i felt really defeated as a woman like i felt really disappointed in myself i felt angry i felt mad that i even gave my womb to this person like I just felt very disappointed in myself and I really did not want to tell my dad the guy's response because my dad kind of was telling me like well you know there's a possibility that he might not be happy and I knew that but yeah so I was telling my mom and of course I everything just hit me because while I was talking to him I did not cry because I was like I'll be damned if I let this man see me cry but once I hit that altar parking lot y'all and I was talking on the phone with my mom I did the ugly cry okay I did the ugly cry I started bursting out crying and y'all, after I did that ugly cry that one time, I vowed to not be crying over this situation no more. After I got that cry out, I instantly turned on my gospel music and I said, you know what, God, it is what it is. God will never give you more than you can handle. And of course, when you're in a situation where you're going through the storm, it's hard to understand, like, why am I going through this? Why is this my situation? You know, it's hard to see that light at the end of the tunnel. But that's why it's important to change your mindset. Like, it's really all about your mindset and so I could sit around and mope and cry and feel bad about myself and you know throw myself a pity party and of course it's sad like it's okay to be sad it's okay to be mad it's okay to be frustrated but sitting in those feelings is not gonna change your circumstance and God already knew that this was gonna happen in my life God already knew that this situation was gonna arise but he also knew that it wouldn't be too much for me to bear he also knew that I was gonna make it I was gonna make it to that light at the end of the tunnel so if God knew that this wasn't gonna be too much for me to bear then I know that I can make it with or without that person involved so even though this was never something that I wanted for myself at the end of the day I'm so blessed because because there's women out there who actually try and I didn't even try and I was blessed with life you know so for me I really take this as a unexpected blessing even though the situation is a little rocky you know I still choose to see the light at the end of the tunnel and so um, instead of crying and moping about something I cannot change of course I would love for that person to be involved with my child and you know of course like I want I always wanted my kids to have you know my kids my kid to have both parents like that's the most ideal situation but unfortunately that's just not my story and God already knew that wasn't gonna be my story and that's okay it's about your mindset and it's okay to cry and it's okay to get it out but don't get so far don't get don't dig yourself so deep into a hole where you can't get yourself out feel those emotions but then at the same time you just gotta you just gotta chuck the deuces and keep it moving you just gotta keep yourself here okay so i told myself well hey just gotta keep it moving so i already knew early on that i was going to be going into this solo of course i was you know not happy about that but 
it is what it is. So I knew that, you know, it's not going to be easy. And God is not promising that, you know, a storm, a storm is not going to be easy. But he does know, like, just so you know, you he's never going to give you more than you could bear. So even though it may feel like you can't bear it in the moment, even though you're going to have those down moments, it's not going to be easy. God never promised easy, okay? But he did promise you're going to get through it. So, girl, I'm going to make it. Yeah, there's been plenty of women who have done it and who have, you know, killed the game. There's been pl plenty of, you know, single moms out there who did it on their own and they ended up getting married, finding their husband, you know. So, I did not see this as, oh, my life is over. I refuse to take this laying down. Like, absolutely not. I said, you know what? Hey, now I know early on that I'm going to be doing this solo. I'm It's just going to be me and my baby, and that's okay, you know? So I was like, I refuse to be sitting in my bed crying about something that I cannot change. All I can do is pray. Like, I always pray that God will change his heart or soften his heart or, you know, he'll, he'll come around, but... Girl, we're not finna be crying and stressing over that. Absolutely not. This is a beautiful moment for me, despite how the situation is. It's a beautiful moment for me, and I'm not gonna allow the enemy to rob me of that. And I'm not gonna allow other people's opinion like, oh, I went and did this, shoulda, woulda, coulda. This is what I chose to do, and I chose to move forward, so I already know what I'm getting myself into. Um, and so, yeah, I just want other women out there who are in a similar situation as me, like, be encouraged, girl. Like, I know it's going to be hard and it's not going to be easy. And this is not the situation anybody ever wants for themselves. Some people do choose um, to do that because I know that's also a thing. But I think what also helped me, too, is that early on, I knew that this it would just be me. Like, so it wasn't like, oh, they were on board and then, like, all of a sudden they disappear. Like, girl, I knew from the moment I found out. And I told the man, like, girl, I know I was going to be doing this on my own. And it is what it is, okay? All I can do is pray and keep it going. <laughs> um, so moving on to Chapter 5, announcing it. So actually, fun fact, when I announced my pregnancy, I did it on my birthday, on my 25th birthday. Honestly, if I could pick, I probably wouldn't have announced it that early. I was only seven weeks when I announced it. Um... But I was like, I really wanted to announce it on a big day. Like I wanted it to be like a main event. And the only other big major like holiday that was coming up after my birthday was Mother's Day. And I really didn't want to wait that long. And like I told y'all, when it comes to a drink, I'm going to have it. And especially on my birthday. So for me to not be drinking and doing the most, because every time on my birthday, I'm always out of town. Like I always take a solo trip, like a few days leading um leading up to my birthday i take a solo trip i'm drinking i'm having my wine like i'm all i'm all on social media going out so this year i was like girl it's gonna be a little hard for me to like i don't know i just really wanted to announce it i didn't care like i was like i don't care if i'm seven weeks girl i'm gonna announce it so i did announce my pregnancy on social media on my birthday which was march 30th 2023 on my 25th birthday i announced it and y'all i was like trying my best to like poke out my stomach because I'm only seven weeks, so literally the stomach, if you go on my Instagram and you see those pictures, I was just bloated. <laughs> there was no baby bump, like I was just bloated and I was like kind of trying my best to stick it out because I wanted to announce it on my birthday so bad. So boom, I announced it on my birthday. I had quite a few like, like weird, hateful comments from guys in the comments like it was so weird but majority of people were very excited for me a lot of people were surprised like a lot of people were surprised um of course i had questions asking about the dad who's the dad blah blah, blah. like girl <laughs> people was like really trying to be in my business but a lot of people were super excited for me and really happy for me because i don't really even if i am dating people i don't show them on my social media so it's like I think people were just like, oh, snap, like, Janelle was, she was doing her thing, and yes, ma'am, did a little too much, but is what it is. My first ultrasound, so, like I said, um, the week after I took the pregnancy test and went to that ER that gave me those scraggly little results, um, me and my mom found <laughs> this clinic, and it was such a nice clinic. We wish we would have went to them first, because first of all, we wouldn't have wasted $250, and second of all, these ladies, like I already said, when my baby is born, I'm taking him back to that place so the ladies there can meet him because, or I'm, I'm saying him and I don't even know what I'm having. I don't know if I'm having a boy or a girl. So, my, so they can meet my baby because they treated me so well. Like honestly, like they're, they're like a place, I don't want to say the name because then it'll say the state that I live in. 
but they're such a supportive group of ladies like they're there for women who have unexpected pregnancies unplanned pregnancies um they don't do like you know like getting rid of babies they don't do that there but they're there for like support they give you a bunch of resources they actually sent me home with a giant goodie bag they gave me a teething ring like a new teething ring they gave me some uh onesies some pampers some socks for my baby they gave me this little hat some little booties like i have it in this box over here i really don't want to pick it up but i could show y'all a few things um that they gave me so like they gave me a bunch of cute stuff like they gave me some little booties some onesies they gave me a little hat like they gave me some pampers like they gave me so many good things they gave me great resources people to reach out to um i also got this big box called the love box and it's with this group called embrace i think that's what they're called and they're for like women who have unplanned pregnancies and stuff like that so they also gave me a box full of goodies and inside the box was this shirt and it was so funny because i actually wrote my birthday caption before i went there y'all i was not playing like once I found out, I already had my birthday caption written out. I already knew I was going to announce it on my birthday, everything. And I said in my caption, like, God bless me with the best gift ever. And it was crazy because when I opened the little box, they had this shirt in there that says best gift ever. And it was just confirmation. So I actually used this in my pictures. But yeah, in the little love box, they called it a love box. They had this shirt and then they also had a book. It came with a book called um a bump in life i think it's called a bump in life that book is really good like it talks about unplanned pregnancies and how people are grateful that they decided to follow through with the pregnancy stuff like that so i was really grateful for those ladies um they did confirm my pregnancy with the test and then um last week when i was 10 weeks and two days i went to them to get my free ultrasound so those are the pictures well actually i don't know if i'm gonna show y'all the pictures like I'm gonna try to put it on the screen because it does have my information on there but um yeah I'm gonna try to insert a picture and show you guys but um when I was 10 weeks and two days I finally went to go see my baby boo for the first time because I was not able to I don't know for some reason the doctors don't want to see you before a certain time period so especially if you don't have any like complications or anything so i wasn't able to see my baby for the first time until i was 10 weeks and two days and i went there they gave me a free ultrasound which i was super excited about i got one two three four five six seven pictures um i also my mom was there with me of course so she got pictures that says hi grandma we also got one that says hi grandpa um so it was just really cute and of course i have one that says hi mom so yeah they already know my situation they know my story so you know um but they still asked if i wanted one for the dad and i was like you know unfortunately not but that's okay um and yeah so that's my first ultrasound today i'm currently 11 weeks in one day um so they said i was actually spot on like a lot of people are not spot on with like their due date and stuff so i was i'm actually due november 12th of the end of this year so november 12th and all of my pictures except for one like one of them said 10 weeks and four days but majority of the pictures when they got the measurements it said 10 weeks and two days so i'm gonna get another confirmation but she was like this is very rare like not many women are like spot on with the days like it's either like a few days off a week off they're either one week later or one week earlier so for me to be spot on they were like oh yeah like dang like and trust me girl because i was looking like yeah this is pretty spot on honey there's there was only one guy there was only i remember the day it happened i remember i remember so i was like yeah girl it's gonna be pretty spot on with this one but yeah so i'm either exactly 10 weeks and two days or if it is off it's only off by two days so so i actually have another ultrasound with the same clinic because they were like we want you to be a model for us to work with other nurses i guess newer nurses that come in to their clinic to work for them you know they need somebody to kind of like practice on i guess so i will be going back to them next week when i'm 12 weeks and then i'm also going to be going to my doctors um finally my actual doctors because they're not a they're not a doctor place they're just like a clinic or something but yeah they don't do like prenatal care there that's what i mean so i'm actually going to be going to my actual doctor next week as well on monday and i'll be going to my actual doctors and then on tuesday i'll be going back to this clinic so i get to see my baby boo more they're also going to give me another free ultrasound so shout out to me go me i get to see my baby boo at 12 weeks 
and yeah i feel like i blabbered a lot i think that was pretty much it and then the last thing that i had is final thoughts now my final thoughts like i said i'm super excited this was definitely unexpected for me obviously i did the act so you know <laughs> clearly there's always a possibility when you do the act but i feel like it was so unexpected for me because of the person and just i don't know i just didn't think 2023 i was gonna be a mom like that was just not something that i thought you know like not at all so you know i've done the do before this so the, you know i don't know it's just always a shocker like even though you know what it takes to to make a baby like it's still shocking like so i was very shocked by that i'm super excited you know like i said even though this will be a solo journey for me i'm still really 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 excited like i don't feel any less than i don't feel like this is a disadvantage for me i don't feel like i don't want a pity party like i am really excited and honestly i'm super grateful that this did happened to me like i'm super grateful already for my baby like y'all i'll be crying about my baby growing up and the baby's not even here yet girl i'm only 11 weeks and i'm already crying about my baby growing up i was just crying last night about the fact that my baby's gonna grow up one day <laughs> like girl i'm excited to be a mom like i'm already crying about stuff that's just not even here yet because oh my gosh so my final thoughts is i'm super excited i do want to share my journey with you guys especially since i'm going to be doing this solo dolo i'm not going to be on here bashing my child's father like i said i don't want no drama i choose peace okay i choose peace i i'm not gonna bash and oh this oh that i'm not really gonna go too much in, onto that side y'all are just gonna see me and my baby and our journey and where we go and where god takes us and yeah and hopefully my story can be encouraging to other ladies out there who are in a similar situation as me you know we don't really nobody ever thinks that this will be their life but hey it is what it is and i'm choosing to see that light at the end of the tunnel so yeah that is my big life update that let me just say like the gender that i want i have been leaning more towards boy but i was like i have to like think about the possibility that it might be a girl like so at first i was like definitely team boy i'm like i want a boy i want a boy i want a boy but then the more i thought about it i was like okay you know you gotta be open to both sides because what if you have a girl so now i'm definitely 50 50 i don't care either way it goes but at first i was definitely like no i want a boy give me a boy give me a boy and now i'm like girl i don't care either way it goes like i'm 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 happy either way it goes of course i was gonna be happy no matter what but everybody has their little secret preference that they want so i secretly wanted a boy super bad my parents also want a boy my brothers also want a boy my little brother he wants to, he's voting for girl but yeah so i'm really excited either way it goes i already have my names picked out for both boy and girl so that's out the way i already got my names and i just can't wait to find out what i'm gonna have like so y'all comment down below what do you think i'm gonna have also before my camera dies i'm gonna show you guys my bumps okay so like i said i'm 11 weeks and one day pregnant and i just want to document my little bump so i do i do kind of want to do like a bump journey maybe i'll just do it in this dress so i can it'll be easier to document but let me show you guys my little bump okay so honestly <laughs> here's my little bump honestly my stomach still looks the same i've always kind of had a little bit of a pudge like my stomach has never been flat so honestly like my stomach looks the same also i have lost weight which also made me mad because prior to this i've been trying my best to lose like i've been wanting to lose like 10 pounds tell me why i lost seven pounds and i had i wasn't even trying when i was trying to lose weight the scale was not moving but the moment i get pregnant and i don't even try to lose weight i'm losing weight because i'm nauseous nothing sounds good nothing looks good like literally food aversion and nauseousness girl like oh my god the first trimester is oh girl i'm still ready to be out of the first trimester but yeah how i lose seven pounds and i wasn't even trying that made me so mad but yeah so honestly like i said my stomach i've always had a stomach like i've always i've never had a flat stomach so this is what my belly looks like i do feel like it's more round right here like it's definitely more round but yeah so this is what i'm looking like this is what i'm giving at 11 weeks in one day and a lot of people say they can't even tell that i'm pregnant because honestly i already had a belly okay my belly was never flat so i just feel like my stomach right now just looks more rounded like a little bit more rounded but i've always had a pudge i've never had a flat stomach so for me especially since i lost seven pounds that doesn't also help so yeah i have lost weight um i'm sure girl i'm gonna be 
gaining that back but yeah the first trimester has been a little just talking about it makes me nauseous make me want to throw up now just thinking about it but <laughs> but yeah so that's my bump right now i am curious to see how my bump is gonna look in a few more weeks but yeah i think that's it i think i touched bases on everything if i didn't or if y'all have any more questions just let me know um i was pretty open and honest about my situation i'm still gonna be open and honest about my situation i'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing this is my story. This is my major life update. And yes, yeah, so that is definitely enough blabbering. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much in advance for all the congratulations and everything. I appreciate everybody who left me kind comments underneath my announcement pictures um, on Instagram. Also, I did get an updated um, <laughs> pregnancy test. So this is what my clear blue looks like because I wanted to see the words pregnant. Like, the cheap ones, they be going away after a day. So I did end up getting a clear blue test and it says pregnant. I took this on the day before my missed period. So I took this March 4th and it still says pregnant. So I love that. Um, so yeah, that was the digital test that I took. And yeah, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of today's video. So don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. It'll be down below in the description box with direct links. I feel like ever since I started talking about nauseousness, now I'm starting to feel nauseous. Like, girl, oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.